<laughs> good morning how do you decrease the amount of ants you have in your house using products you have around the house well you can use soapy water or you can use vinegar and I was recording earlier and I use the soapy water we sell natural soap no dye or fragrance is in it and we sell at ninassoap.com and that's what we wash dishes with so we have it around and we have been having ants issue so i don't know if you can see that one walking around and last weekend when i tried to make um it's like a burrito not really burrito but uh how it's called anyway my kids like to call it wrap but it is like a tortilla type you look put uh filling in it roll it and fry it and bake it so do you see it? i have my soapy water here and that's it and pretty much what I was doing that time is because I made a dough from scratch, I forgot how to call it, but they tell it when you go to a place that they have Chinese food, they sell those rolls. Might be pork base or beef base or chicken base. I forgot. And people eat it with sweet and sour. I don't know, but because we have our own name for it, I don't remember you know what they are usually called. But my kids like to call it roll. I made the, the 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 dough and then I will fill it and I will fry it and bake it. So but because we have an issue, what I was doing is to use my uh to use my counter with my cutting board to make the dough and roll it flat. I had to make sure I don't have ants knowing me so I put soapy water all around the cutting the cutting board and when the soapy water dries I'll put more and by doing that I created a barrier for them to come to the surface that I was using so that's one way you can use your counter if you are having an issue with them you can use vinegar vinegar annoys them but it does not destroy them as quickly as soap. And I, I think any soap you have, chemical soap that, or uh, liquid, this soap that you have around should work. But because we don't use those type of soap, we switch to natural one. That's why I'm demonstrating it with the one that we use. But when you use soapy water though, you have to remember to wipe the surface. So when kids have food on the floor, they didn't clean up well, you'll have them around the food. And you don't want to let some escape. Soapy water on them will be a quick way to get rid of that group. But you have to remember to rinse the area in case you don't want to i mean to make it work for yourself you can use vinegar you don't need to dilute the vinegar and you don't know if you notice it but yeah i don't know what the soap does i think i have another new one there huh work on both okay so I can just wipe my counter here and I will rinse it so that's why you will notice it that I mean it is the morning five in the morning but five almost six but usually our counter is empty but pretty much during the day we just don't use this surface because of ants coming in usually we have our drinking cup on this table counter but now we are just using the counter by the kitchen by the stove and you can see 
all those jars there they are all drinking cups and some jar that I wash and I'm air drying but having ants coming in the house can be very annoying and those can carry diseases since they are crawling on the ground and that's the way I've been keeping them in check and when the kids are going to eat sometimes I will just put sprinkle on the little vinegar on the black table and that's why the black table does not have a fabric so that it's easy to wipe with water it's plastic so I will just sprinkle vinegar and wipe the table so that I can keep those ants away from them but if you are having and uh, it became so bad like it was like an infestation and I couldn't see where they are coming from like the bathroom they will be there and yesterday for some reason I kept asking myself why are we having a lot of ants on this counter here when we are not really using it much I know that kids can touch the counter with full hand but like they were quite often here And yesterday evening, I noticed it like a lot at the corner of the wall and the bottom and here. And then when I followed them, they were going in the trash bag. So pretty much, we just use grocery bag for trash. And after a while, we'll just tie it and put it in the trash container in the garage so they were going in so it was like a lot of them and it's right so when and i was trying to avoid that having like them assessing food in the trash because that's where the food would be not on the floor on the counter and it was the reason why they were on the counter here and what i did is i made that soapy water and i just splink splink it on the wall Tied the back, took it out, and just sprinkle a lot of water, soapy water, around here, and pretty much rub where the tower, the rug, and I, I just use a rug that I will toss, and I rub the soap on it, like making it soapy, and pretty much when around the surface that they were crawling. And this morning, I'm not, I only seen one here right now, but I'm, we ate dinner, we still have food in the trash, but I'm not seeing a group, a long group going there. So that's how I got rid of that situation. That's how I, I was able to stop that situation yesterday. But they are still around, one here, one there, when there is no food. You can still see them, but not like a bunch of them somewhere. So it's becoming very annoying, not knowing where they are coming from. So a week ago, I went outside again looking for them. Don't know if you'll be able to see, but they are here. I went outside to look around the building again, first walking around the garden, and I noticed that they were coming from the garden, the front yard garden. The front yard garden is not that close to the house, but they're coming from there. Let's see if I'll be able to turn this without. And there was a little hole in um the siding like we have brick veneer at the bottom of the building and there was a little hole somewhere very tiny hole and they're going through that hole and like a long group of them and i called my husband to come and see and i said that's where they are coming from and i followed them and i know that they're going toward the, ga the garden so, 
So I boil water when I'm learning to look and I boil water and I pour on the hole and on the ground where the oil and I came back to boil it again. And when I boil the second time, I just use uh, a kettle. So when I boil it the second time, by the time I went back, I saw them again. So it took a few minutes to slow them down, but the group continued. Okay, so then I said to myself, okay, I'm going to use the soapy water. So I make my soapy water and I went and I pour it on the hole, like on the wall, and I pour it on the ground where the group, I mean, where they are and the, the path. And then I just scrape my soap. I scrape it. And I put a rub right below the, the 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 hole because I didn't want them to stay inside the building. So I put it right below the bo the the hole, just paste it there, so that if it rains, it'll just make a soapy solution there. It'll stop others to come in, but the one hour inside should get out. When I did that, it really, really stopped the population inside because the whole, I don't know how I'll explain it, but they are going through that hole, going through the siding and finding themselves in to the bathroom, to the linen closet wall like between the linen closet wall and the bathroom and coming out of the bathroom. I just don't know what kind of your path is that. So, and that's how I did it. And the population decreased considerably inside. But while I was wondering what we will use, I asked my husband to find if he can find something at Walmart that is natural. And I was looking for a product that I'll put on them outside where I found it. And he went and bought this and I told him that this seems like it will be more used inside. So I didn't even spray it outside. I just used that soapy water. And when I went back a few days later, I, have, I didn't see the group there anymore. And I have checked it twice. I have not seen them. But while I have used the boiled water, it just took them a few minutes between two boiling water. It took them, it, they came back. But when I use the soapy water, I have not seen them. So I don't know how the soapy water, I don't know what kind of effect it had for, on them, for them to completely stop using the path. I know it didn't destroy the whole colony, but it will destroy the ones that were outside. So, if aunt is becoming a nuisance in your house, you are feeling like you might have an infestation, well, before you call um, pest control, you might want to try natural things you have around your house. And a year ago, they were around a window seal in the living room we have a window that is close to the bottom of the floor and we didn't know they were there but in spring when we open the window there were like a lot of them i think it's like a nest around the seal of the window and we are surprised to see ants coming inside throughout winter little by little now knowing where they're coming from, and when we open that window early in spring to get fresh air in, we are surprised to see them. And I have used that mixture of borax and sugar and cornmeal or something like that. Just put it outside around at the bottom of on the ground where the windows are. And I don't know how it works on them, but I have used broom to get them out of the window seal. And few days later they came back and I did it again by just brushing them out of that area a few times they stopped going there this winter 
the winter is over, we are in spring, but I have, I have now opened the, those windows yet. And hopefully, I don't have a colony of ants or a nest of ants there this time. But if I open and I see them, soapy water is going to be what I will use on them. So I don't know if this one has able to put soap on it. Yes. So I don't know what the soap does to them. But I have some here. Let's use vinegar and see how the vinegar is going to work on them. Because those are cooking table, you know, that's my kitchen counter. I'm not comfortable having those things on it like that. And don't know if you can see them. You can see my finger. But they are working around. I'm just going to get the vinegar and I'm just going to spray. And you notice that they are still walking around. One left, there were two. One left, that one is still walking around. So, and that's in the little vinegar. And I think he stopped walking now, I'm not sure. So, sometimes they'll do that until it dries out and they might move again, I'm not sure. But, oh, you see, it's still walking. So vinegar, they don't like it, but I don't know how strong it is. Let me rinse my hand and, and use the soapy water on them. And if you want a natural soap that does not have fragrance or dye, you can check ninasoap.com for them. And this one is olive oil and it is coconut oil and olive oil soup. So I'm, do you see that one there walking around? Let's make our soapy water here. In fact, I don't really need to make a, a, a lot of solution here. I can just rub my hand on it. Okay. Do you see it? It stopped walking. Do you see this one? On the vinegar, it's still moving. So, it depends on what you are trying to achieve. And that one is still at the same spot. And vinegar one, is still here moving away from the vinegar. It's not liking it. Let's see this one. Don't think this one. You see? Let me make my soupy water here. Don't have liquid in my hand. I have the soup. I don't have liquid. Okay. Okay. Do you see it? It stopped moving. Let me rinse my hair. It seems with the soap is you need to wipe your counter. I mean, which is fine because pretty much you just clean your counter, right? You just wash your counter. So, and it's a good thing too because those can carry some germs, some diseases. And having them on the counter, if you use soap, soapy water on your counter, it just gives you an opportunity to just clean up your counter and pretty much uh, sanitize it as well. So now that you can see it, it's still there. And it's not moving. Oh, the one there. Let's see if you can zoom in. Uh, it's kind of blurry now. I think I zoom it too much. You 
is getting blurred. And what I have noticed it too though is those cracks. They were not there before. Even my daughter, one of my daughters, noticed it and said that they are coming from the cracks. It was not that pronounced before. I don't know if they have a way to... I think when I painted, I tried to seal the cracks with the paints. So I don't know if they poke holes or uh, the cracks open at some point or not, but they are coming to the counter through those cracks as well. So, but you can see that it's now moving. And this, um, And by the way, if you put cast iron on your counter, it tend to stain it because cast iron is iron. So it will do that if you don't wipe it right away, it will stain your counter. So you can see that one too. And the one on the vinegar, uh, the one, the vinegar one is a little bit blurry here. I don't know, I think it got tired of moving around. It couldn't get away from it. From it. The vinegar was on a large surface, so it was not able to get outside of that. So the vinegar does not uh, immobilize them right away. But if they're not able to get away from it, then if they're able to get away from it, then that's fine. If they're not able to get away from it, then they will you know, continue, they will just stay at some point, but the soapy water does work on it right away. So it depends on what you are trying to reach, but the thing is, I don't have problem. I have them in the garden. When I, I'm digging to do something, I'll see a lot of ants, I'll just close that hole and move away. I don't have problem having them in the garden, but having them in my house is out of question. And that one just went in that hole. So they are coming in and out through that hole. And yeah, so if you are, if you are getting um, frustrated over those ants, is pretty much a spring and they will come in if you have kids around that are eating and leaving food on the table, on the floor, taking so long to eat before cleaning is done. That might attract ants to your house. And if it's getting out of control, it's not just one here, one there things, and you like, you know, natural things, you don't want to call a pest control, it might just be to choose between vinegar and soap you have. We have a pest control that came to talk to us um, last year, and Shortly after the assassin the ants, they were here, they, I noticed them last year before winter as well, but not as much as this year. And I just felt like maybe they spray something for neighbors and chase those, those ants from one property to another that has not been sprayed or something. I'm not sure, but... They were, I think they were walking around, knocking at the door and asking if they can, uh, if, you know, you want your building to be sprayed or something like that, I'm not sure. So, and we said no, because I grow a lot of our own vegetables, and, you know, a lot to try natural things, so I don't really want to 
and if they are outside I'm fine I just don't want them inside so I say no to, to the pest control uh, company and surely after that I start seeing them inside and I wonder if they left one property to mine or what but I was very pleased to notice that so the soap has been working on them but it took me I've been dealing with them for three years now and I just figured out this month or last month and today is April 24th 2021 so I figure out that soap be water works on them in less than a month and it has helped keeping them in track in, in, tra in the house especially after I found that colony that was trying to get into the building and I put soapy water outside it has I have not seen them on the floor much unless there is a food source somewhere that they are trying to group around Thank you so much for your time. I'm Afiavi Ojun and Liberman, creators of Liberman Consulting LLC YouTube channel, Liberman Consulting LLC podcast. Nina Soap that can our blog, and we do have our natural product store, Nina Soap that can Liber Label that come for our custom apparatus and stationery liber outlets that come for resell products and liber download for digital products thank you so much for watching our videos thank you for your time we thank you very much for that subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for all of your comments.